Hey guys, welcome to Corey Taylor Builds. Today I got another engine teardown for you. This is a 5.3 liter LM7, again, just like the one we did last week. But this one has a broken rod. However, they did that. engine up the other day and if you notice it's missing a few things uh, water pump oil pans gone but biggest thing I've noticed is there are no head gaskets in here which means somebody's been in this before rockers are gone we don't even have push rods so somebody's already been in here found out what was wrong and then decided to sell it which is how I got it one good thing I have noticed spins over pretty good. Makes compression in some cylinders that, you know, the ones that actually have spark plugs. But, spins over good, no clunking noises. Uh, we'll wait till we get to the bottom end to show you the sheared off rod, because you can see it through the oil pan. Well, since most stuff taken off of this motor, I guess we're gonna start by zipping these heads off that have already been off. I'm assuming they're gonna be loose. So we're going to try the impact first. If they're too tight, I'll get a breaker bar. Drop the bolt down an intake runner. Come here. Okay, let's start with this head after we got the 10 mils out. And hopefully these just come right off. Oh yeah, they're barely even. Barely even. Besides that one. Barely even snug. Let's peel this thing off. That was easy. No popping or fighting with head gaskets. It's dirt on that piston. And there's our, there's our broken rod. Do have a ding in the bore, which sucks. Another one right at the bottom. Looks like a rod smacked it. Let me get you in here and show you. It looks like, see that shiny part right there? There's no lip, so it seems like the head's still good. Didn't get hit too hard, but just barely got nicked by the piston. Might be a little tough to see. You can kind of see right there at the lower part of the bore near the bottom. At the very bottom, you can see a little lip sticking up, which is where the rod hit it, and then... About an inch and a half above that, the rod smacked the cylinder. So this would definitely have to get bored over in order for the block to be used again. Bunch of scoring up top there too. On to the other side, let's get this cylinder head off. And what's behind this door? Oh look, all four pistons. This engine wasn't together long before something happened, because you can see someone took a wire wheel to this head, cleaned the chambers up, you can even see some marks on the mating surface. Someone tried to clean this up and put it together, and it uh, broke very quickly. There's almost no carbon buildup on any of this. I mean, look at how clean the pistons are. I guess let's try to get the valley cover off next. Get these knock sensors out of here. This back one's trash. It's got the porcelain broken. Also a bunch of plastic from the plug in here. Get out of here. Let me get this socket on. There we go. 
Look at those, perfectly usable knock sensors. All right, let's go and zip this valley cover off and see what's under there. All right, let's peel her off. And it's pretty snug. Let me get a pry bar. Come on, get off of there. Oh, your seals are tight. I think they broke free though. Maybe? There it is. Oh, they just broke. Minus the free part. All right, we can go ahead and get the lifters out of here now. Man, these have a lip on them. God, they barely even want to come out. They don't seem half bad, though. God, these are stuck. I might just pull these up as far as I can go for now. All right, since none of the lifters want to come out, let's do the easy job of getting this wonderful pulley off. Great. Okay, let's hope this one comes loose easier. A little bit easier. Way better than the last one. There's our bolt. Perfect. Now, let's get this front cover off. A little bit goopy on that front cover. It does look like someone tried to clean it though, because it's a lot cleaner down there. We can just go ahead and yank this oil pump off. Looks in pretty good shape. Ooh, that's a lot of chain slop. That's a brand new chain though. Somebody put the wrong chain on here. This is pretty common. Make sure if you don't have a tensioner, the later model LS has come with a little spring tensioner that goes right here. That's what this chain is for. There are two different sizes of chain. You need to make sure you get the chain that's for a 99 to, I think, 0304. If you go on Summit Racing, they'll tell you that. And then this one's like 05 and up. Two different style chains. Make sure you get the right one. That's a brand new chain, and look at how much slop that has. Get the right chain. Where are you going? Let's get the cam out now. Maybe it's aftermarket. That'd be nice. Nope, probably not. Gasket's not completely shot in that. Okay, here we go. Come on. Well, that's already not looking good. 
I'm definitely going to find that lifter. Oh, and you know, bad bearings. Wow, this engine had a hard life. Somebody should have dug into this motor a little more before deciding to clean it up because tell you that bearing shot, that bearing shot, that bearing shot, that bearing shot, that lifter shot. Look at that. Just ate away the top of that lobe on the cam. That is destroyed. We got to get that lifter out once we get the bottom end apart. See what that looks like. Oh look, there's a second one. Not as bad, but ate away the top of that lobe. That's a shame. At least it's a stock cam. Pretty much trash anyways. Okay, now we can flip this motor over, see what's going on the bottom end. I can show you the broken rod finally, and we can look at how much damage it caused. Well, I just rolled this thing over, and for some reason, why is that main cap loose? What did they, what were they doing with that main cap? Whatever. The rod's back here, let me show you that. Well, as you can tell, that rod's not supposed to be facing straight down. It's also loose. Somebody already loosened the bolts for us. Uh, I have no idea where the rest of this is, because we don't have an oil pan, which I'm assuming it was just scattered laying in. But that is, that's a pretty nice break. Right at the bottom of the rod. Ooh, let me grab a flashlight. Look at that. See the bottom of that skirt all beat to hell. Can't see this one that well. We'll see it once we get this crank out. See what all that rod swiped. Everything else looks pretty good. Don't see any bent rods. Just that one. Odd. Well, let's get straight to it. I'm going to yank all these rods out and get them set over on the table for us to look at then. Okay, got all our rods and pistons out, and surprisingly to me, all of our bearings are good. I thought this one would have a little bit of damage, you know, being that it broke, but pretty good. Some very light scoring. I just noticed that right there, whatever that is actually. A little bit of damage on there. That might have been from... That looks like just one force of a lot of pressure. Just in that one spot, just instant pressure. And You know what? Maybe they hydrolock this. I've seen that type of mark from a hydrolock before. Where you just have one little... Sometimes it'll be all the way across. That's weird that it's only on that side. But you'll just have one little mark. It looks like a lot of pressure and then... Bam, bent or broken rod. That's weird. Everything else is good. Light scoring on all the bearings, but they're all in really good shape. Pistons aren't bad. They have some scoring on the side of them. That's normal. Rings are all loose. Normal stuff. Everything except for, you know, that not existing. That's just a mild issue. Everything else is perfect, though. 9 out of 10. Or 7 out of 8, I should say. 
Well, I just lost a little bit of footage, but I just got all these bolts broken loose, got the side bolts out, and we are ready to pull the main caps off right now, which will hopefully be easy. Or maybe not, or maybe it will. Come on, get out of there. Oh, not that far out of there. Huh. Oh. That main bearing's got some light scoring on it. And there's a little extra around the outside. Not too bad. This one's got a little extra scoring too. Not the best. Same story for the thrust. bearings are like the same same amount of worn I guess consistency is key yep same thing for that one all right let's yank our crank out of here here's a look at our main bearings not too bad. And let's get a look at, there's our ding at the bottom of that cylinder. That's not the one with the broken rod. And where is it? Right there. See where it smacked the block in the bottom of the cylinder? You can kind of see the grooves at the lower part of that cylinder from this angle too, where the rod smacked it. That's the lifter that, one of the lifters that ate away at the cam. Oh, never mind. That right there is the lifter. Let's go ahead and try to push that out quick before we end this video off. Okay, so that is the lifter that ate away the one really bad lobe on the cam. I don't know what happened to it. It looks like something got in there and destroyed it, and then it ate up the cam. I doubt that happened just from the cam eating it, because the bearing in this feels just fine. So something got in there and hit this lifter that caused it to get all chewed up. Other than that, our crankshaft looks to be in pretty good shape. You could probably use this without spinning it. I would probably spin it before I would sell it but it's in good enough shape that it would be just fine to just throw on there. There's no grooves in any of these journals. I mean, they're all in pretty good shape. And this is the sellable parts area that I have for this. These rockers aren't from this motor. They're from the other 5.3. So everything else on here is sellable stuff I got from this motor. Not too bad. All right, so... From the looks of it, this engine wasn't taken care of very well to begin with. On the hand of what happened to that broken rod, it looks to me like it hydrolocked, which I'm not exactly sure how. Could have been from a leaky injector, filled the cylinder with fuel, because this was definitely a low RPM failure, just based on how it barely hit the block at all, and filled it up with fuel, piston hit it, snapped the rod, that was it. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good day.